Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn how to find percentage of a number. On our previous video, we already discussed what percentage is all about. But for you who have not seen it, here is a quick recap. Percentage, or percent for short, is a number ratio that represents a fraction with the denominator of 100. We can represent a percent by writing percent sign after the number. For example, this is just number 50, but if we write percent sign next to the number 50, this means that this is 50%. And as what I said earlier, percent is just a fraction with denominator of 100. Therefore, 50% is also equal to 50 over 100. So that's the end of the quick recap about percentage. Now, how to find the percentage of a number? To make it simple, always remember that a number represents amount and percentage is really just a fraction. So finding the percentage of a number is just finding a fraction of an amount. For example, you have 30 candies. The number 30 there represents the number of candies you have. And let's say you wanted to give 30% of candies to your friend. So how many candies you will give to your friend? So in this case, we need to find the 30% of 30. Also, you need to know that in mathematics, sometimes the word of represents multiplication. So instead of using the multiplication symbol, we just need to use the word of. So this means that 30% of 30 is just like 30% times 30. This means that to find the percent of a number, we just need to multiply. But since we are talking about percentage, we cannot directly multiply percent to a number. So how do we do it? Since you know that percent is just a fraction with denominator 100, therefore we need to convert first the percent into fraction before we multiply it to a number. Back to our example, 30% of 30 means 30% times 30 so convert first the percent into fraction and it will become 30 over 100 so it will now become 30 over 100 times 30 we have now a fraction and a whole number to multiply a fraction to a whole number all we have to do is put denominator 1 to the whole number and then multiply the two numerators and two denominators and then simplify the fraction 30 over 100 times 30 will become 30 over 100 times 30 over 1. 30 times 30 is equal to 900. Therefore, our numerator is 900. And then 100 times 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, our denominator is 100. So we now have an answer 900 over 100. Now, simplify the fraction. 900 over 100 is equal to 9 when simplified therefore 30 percent of 30 is equal to 9 so you need to give 9 candies to your friend now let's have another example what is 10 percent of 200 again write first the percent into fraction so 10 percent is just equal to 10 over 100 so it will now become 10 over 100 times 200 next let's put denominator 1 to the whole number so it will become 200 over 1 and then we can now multiply the two numerators and the two denominators 10 times 200 is just equal to 2000 so this means our numerator is 2000 then for the denominator 100 times 1 is equal to 100 Therefore, our answer is 2,000 over 100. Since we need to simplify our fraction, 2,000 over 100 is just equal to 20. Therefore, 10% of 200 is 20. 
Now for our last example. There are 80 students in a math class and 10% are absent on that day. Find the total number of absent students in the class. So since there are 80 students in the class and 10% of the students were absent, therefore we need to find what is 10% of 80 in order to know how many students were absent on that day. So first let's convert the percent into fraction. So it will become 10 over 100. Then let's put denominator 1 to the whole number. Therefore, it will become 10 over 100 times 80 over 1. Now let's multiply the two numerators. So 10 times 80 is equal to 800. Then let's multiply also the two denominators. 100 times 1 is equal to 100. Therefore, our answer is 800 over 100. Then we need to simplify the fraction. Therefore, 800 over 100 is equal to 8. So for our final answer, we have 8 students that were absent on that particular day. So that's how we find the percent of a number. You need to master it because there are lots of real life situation that uses the concept of percentage. So that's it guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you learned a lot on how to find percentage of a number. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere.